You've been eating this the whole time. You drink it. You breathe it. And it's inside you right now. No matter where you live or how healthy you are, plastic has found its way into your body. From your blood to your brain, from your lungs to your unborn children, this invisible invader is everywhere. It's called microplastic, and it may be one of the most dangerous threats to human health that no one is talking about enough. In this video, I'll show you simple but powerful ways to reduce the amount of plastic building up inside you, starting today. What are microplastics? Microplastics are exactly what they sound like. Tiny fragments of plastic less than 5 millimeters in size, about the width of a pencil tip. They come from broken down plastic waste like bags, bottles, and packaging. Synthetic clothing fibers such as polyester and nylon. Cosmetic products like exfoliating microbeads. Industrial processes including abrasives and plastic pellets. Some are even smaller, called nanoplastics, thousands of times thinner than a human hair. Microplastics are found everywhere. In the Arctic ice, tap water, rainfall, human lungs, human blood, even inside the human brain and placenta. In 2022, researchers at the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam found microplastics in 80% of human blood samples tested. That's a lot. In 2023, researchers discovered microplastics inside the heart tissue of living patients. During surgery, that doesn't sound good. These particles don't disappear. They build up in the environment, in animals, and in us. How does plastic get into us? Let's break it down. It's in our food. Shellfish and fish often ingest microplastics, and we eat them. Ocean harvested salt contains plastic particles. Fruits and vegetables absorb microplastics through contaminated soil and water. A 2021 study estimated the average person may ingest 5 grams of plastic per week, about the weight of a credit card. The plastics were found in drinking water, both bottled and tap, seafood, salt, beer, and other food products. First reported by WWF in 2019, the 5 grams per week estimate gained traction in 2021 due to widespread media coverage. Actual exposure varies by diet, location, and pollution levels. Here's something else. Invisible plastic particles are now part of the air we breathe. Synthetic fibers shed from clothes, carpets, and furniture. We inhale them daily, even in our homes. What microplastics do to the human body? Here's where it gets disturbing. These particles don't leave quietly. They lodge deep in tissues, penetrate cell walls, and disrupt the immune system. These are some of the documented health effects. Chronic inflammation in lungs and gut. Cell damage and oxidative stress. Endocrine disruption, including hormonal imbalance, infertility, and brain development issues. Suppression of immune function. Potential links to cancer through long-term toxicity. In 2023, Italian scientists found microplastics embedded in human placentas. That means plastic could begin affecting human health before birth. This isn't just pollution. This is internal contamination. How microplastics affect your weight. Many plastics contain chemicals like BPA, phthalates, and styrene, known as obesogens. It also disrupts hormones. Increase the number and size of fat cells. Slow metabolism. Rewire how your body stores energy. A study in environmental health perspectives showed prenatal exposure to plastic-based chemicals, increased fat mass, and insulin resistance later in life. So if you're struggling with weight gain despite eating well, it might not just be food. Plastic exposure could be programming your body to hold on to fat. Microplastics in the food chain are now permanent. Tiny marine organisms eat them. Small fish eat those organisms. Bigger fish eat the small ones, and we eat them all. Microplastics also absorb toxic chemicals, like mercury, flame retardants, and persistent pollutants, and transport them through the food web. This is called bioaccumulation. Toxins become more concentrated at each level of the food chain. Even bees now contain plastic fibers and cow's milk. Can we eliminate microplastics from the body? Right now, there is no proven way to remove microplastics from the human body entirely. But some emerging approaches may help reduce their damage. Fiber-rich diets may bind some particles in the digestive tract. Antioxidants like vitamin C and E may fight cell damage from plastic-induced stress. Experimental nanotech solutions are being researched to target and remove plastic particles from the bloodstream. Still, prevention is more effective than any treatment we currently have. You can't escape microplastics entirely, but you can limit your exposure. Here's how. Avoid plastic bags, straws, bottles, and utensils. Choose glass instead. Use a water filter, preferably reverse osmosis or activated carbon. Wash synthetic clothing less often, or use a fiber-catching laundry bag. Never microwave food using plastic. Reduce seafood from polluted regions, especially shellfish. Check your skincare. Avoid microbeads and ingredients like polyethylene or polypropylene. 
Small changes can lead to a big difference when you look at the bigger picture. We produce over 400 million tons of plastic every year. Only 9% is recycled. The rest ends up in the ocean, in the soil, in the rain, and in us. We created this, but we can also change it through innovation, awareness, and action. You're not helpless, but you are affected. Every breath, every bite, every sip. The question isn't, is plastic inside us? The question is, what are we going to do about it? And drop a comment below. What surprised you most?